Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode of the Daily Introverts Show. I'm your host. In today's episode, oh, in today's episode, we are going to be looking into what is called the four stages. Of denial for introverts, we are going to be looking at the fascinating effects that crippling loneliness has on our introvertedness. The Daily Introvert Show. Yeah. Meet us. Our case study for this episode of the Daily Introvert Show, Anna Chronic Room Hermit. We will be following her epic journey of traveling through the super epic four stages of denial for introverts. Oh gosh! Well, we're off to a not so cheery start. Our subject for this episode is currently going through the first stage of denial, crippling loneliness. Symptoms of this stage includes numbness. Falling the eyes out, talking to an imaginary friend so as not to forget how to actually speak, and whatever this is, and this, and this, and this. Hey, how's it going? And this. Oh, I actually do feel like crying now. However, our subject S is more than just a mere sedentary dum dum. Being sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired of being Why sick me? and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. S decides to take action. She purchases the Bible for all introverts, socializing for dum dums. Even if it's the extra dumb edition that she has acquired. Our subject may have a hard time processing the information as she has been dormant for so long. However, S is not daunted. She studies. She researches. She reviews. She works her ass off. You good. You good. You good. For days and nights on end, utilizing her well-practiced overthinking skills to meticulously calculate all possible outcomes in a social interaction. S fights hard and is determined to break free from her lonely fate. This was the second stage, the research. Our subject now moves on to the third stage. I've been practicing. My smile! The rehearsal. At this stage, one may go through a series of emotions that range from meaningless overconfidence Yo. to unbearable self-hatred. Let us observe a little more closely. Hey, hey, yo! Yo! How's it going? She's a maniac, a maniac! Just keep it, keep it chill. Don't overdo it. Just keep it cool. Hi! No! That's a creep! That is a creepy thing! Don't be a creep! Don't be a creep! Don't be a creep to other people! Oh my gosh, it's so nice to see you! Yeah! Why am I sweating so much? Don't sweat too much. You can't sweat too much. Cause when you sweat, you look like you got social anxiety. And that's what you have. Bunny jump, bam, bam, jump. Wanna go? Well, yikes. From the looks of it, our subject looks far from being prepared for a decent social interaction. However, S does not get discouraged. Rome was not built in a day. And so comes the final stage, the most dreaded stage of all, into the wilderness. Even after all the research and practice, our subject can't help but feel, oh my fucking god, I'm gonna die, oh my god. But everything is in control. S enjoys a good time running out and about with a few moments of exception of getting frightfully irritated by sudden noise of motorbikes and cars farting past by for the duration of whopping five minutes. S feels as though she has conquered her chronic loneliness and has become a social butterfly. 
The world feels like a playground, and nothing can get in her way. But sadly, the battery has finally run out for S. The party is over. Anxiety has come back. The world feels like an enemy once again, and our subject has to go home to recharge, train harder, and basically repeat everything we have just witnessed. The Daily Intrepid Show.